So that's all that's all a plus. But now we're going down to Smith Lake. Hallman's already there. Andrew's already there. And they've been there a really, really long time. Like a really long time. And I'm just now leaving. It's a it's a Saturday. I won't get there till it, it says eleven o'clock. I hope to get there before twelve just because I'm sure I'll have to stop, get gas, do some other things. I'll still get three and a half days. We have to be off the water by 12 on Wednesday. I don't know what that's about. Here's the deal on that. There's a lot of guys that fish a long time for these opens. I've kind of made some videos about the fact that like, I'm not a big fan of practicing too much. Uh, I like to practice. I just don't like to practice too long. I don't, I don't think it's good. One, I don't ever want to get used to it. I taught myself really, really early on to practice as little a days as possible for events. Uh, it makes you more efficient. It keeps you in track of what's going on at the time everything is going on. Um, I, I can't tell you how many times, you know, three or four, five, six days ahead of time, even sometimes two, things will change. And it's very easy to change if you don't have a ton, a ton of history on something, right? It's easy to just kind of do what the fish are doing and move along with it. So, uh, three days for me, perfect. So, we're on the road. Hopefully we won't have any mishaps. We'll get down there. But something tells me, all, like always, we will uh, we will have some, oh, we will call home enough. I don't know, I don't know the schedule that today's college football. He's not on the water today, guaranteed. He's watching college football. So we will call home enough and hopefully OU's playing. Well, actually, we don't want OU to be playing. If OU's playing, he won't answer. He won't answer, not answer the phone. But if not, if they're losing or winning, I'll find out here in a little bit. It'll be interesting. If they're losing, oh, yeah. I'm going to get some freaking vintage Hallman on the phone for sure. So we'll check that out here in just a second. Yeah, that didn't take too long. So I called him up. He did not answer. That's what he replied back. Oh, you game's on. And he wanted some Coors Light. And we're in a dry county. <laughs> so, yeah. He's probably running out of Coors Light. And oh, you game's on. So he will not answer my phone calls. Hopefully when the game's over. Probably a 12 o'clock game. Hopefully they'll be done by 3. We'll, we'll call up Oh and See how he's doing today. Called him though. Man, I know that dude. Know him. Going way too well. Did he answer my phone? He freaking he's screening his calls on me. Horrible. So it's raining here wherever I'm at, Louisiana, I guess. Yeah, I'm still in Louisiana. I never do this. Guys, I never ever hardly watch weigh-ins. And I'm watching NPFL weigh-in. And the only time I ever watch weigh-ins, normally I'm fishing on Saturdays or Sundays or charge or something, but normally I don't get the chance to. Unless, unless one of my buddies. And look who's called me up. Let's let's see what O'Hallman has to say. Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah guys on camera, I, I like to let y'all know that I called this when I called. Y'all saw me call O'Hallman earlier and I told y'all if he does not answer, he is totally screening my calls because the OU game is playing. And then I showed y'all the text. Exactly. I mean, I called it. He will not answer my phone calls when I call him during an OU game. So That's true. That's true. What you got for me? Oklahoma won. Yeah, well, <laughs> did they? So, 
this is what I got for you. We're going into the state fair of the great state of Texas, once again, undefeated. And the long shorthorns are bringing in their sorry ass, limping in with another loss or two, like they always do. And then they're going to try to upset us and beat us and then talk trash about how much greater they are than us with their one or two losses. I mean, like I just told Brady, I just sent him a text. I said, dude, just, just show up to the fair with corn dog and beer in hand undefeated for once. Just once. I mean, is that asking too much? I mean, it's always the second weekend of October. Just show up undefeated for one damn time. Texas can never do that. Ever. Ever. I still like how he kind of tr talks trash to me, but I could care less about uh, UT football. So it doesn't even bother me, but, but it is funny that he gets worked up over it, you know. Well, it's the morning time. It's been raining. Oh yeah. If I can zoom in, I'd get old Hallman over there getting ready. Well, he fell asleep on me last night. He had too much of OU last night. He got like drunk off of OU. Not even off a of beer, just off of OU beatdown. He got so drunk he fell asleep just off pure excitement. Let's go figure out Smith Lake. Hello? Right where you're at. Huh? Oh. Well, I just had back to back bites on an old spot of mine. I don't know what you're doing, Holman, but but I'm ready for this thing to start. I think you're 10 minutes and you're ready. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to. Whoa, there's a big one. I turned my head to look at floats and I threw up there where I can in the dirt, man. A freaking one blew up on it. Um, all the way in the back. Like, well, they live back there. There ain't no doubt. Because, dude, I caught, dude, I caught like 50 two days in a row back there. I mean, they live around there somewhere. Well, what I, what I was going to tell you about the whole float deal is, I'll put it to getting back I just want to show that's what you call an Oklahoma skag right there yeah that's not a joke that's what that is I mean that is that is, that is what that is what you call did you run it yeah man I always run it 
<laughs> it's good. There ain't really nothing down there. Just look, at this, a little, look at this prop. Just a little sand and a little dirt. <laughs> this is crack on it because there's a crack right there. <laughs> pulled up on this point this little flat point one or two like or three i don't know big ones came up just like crushing in like six inches of water i threw up there and get bit well, i kind of hang out there and kind of move on out and i start seeing them swimming around in there and i did get bit on some bass like it was just coincidence though that there's also about 24 to 5 pound catfish up there swimming around as well um that's not what blew up on my stuff but I did look at them for a while because it's really dark and it's early in the morning and all I can see was shadows. So, uh, makes me feel good because I couldn't get those things to bite. And I thought I was just an idiot and didn't know how to fish. But uh, I also feel like an idiot because uh, I thought they were bass for about five minutes until I got up on them. I think that's the deal. Golly, that's a good one. This this just ruins all of my freaking knowledge of what I'm supposed to be doing. Because now I'm on a bluff wall and one just crushed it. bad one. All right, a little uh, lunch update. I, I got bit. I ran way up two of these creeks. Well, one creek I didn't get bit in, the other one I did. All in an area. Got a couple bites flipping, top water. They came up on me, I even caught one on a swim bait. Um, had some decent ones, uh, and I'm calling two and a halves decent. I'm calling two and a halves decent just because 13 pounds the other day like two days ago in a tournament was like third so two and a half pounders are are pretty good ones i at least had two of those maybe three uh definitely caught a, a one over two and a quarter uh large mouth so there's some i i had some bites it, it's it's something that i don't think i'm gonna do on day one unless something really drastically changes where I've been fishing. I, I, I didn't get a lot of hours yesterday on the water. So I'm gonna go back down there, kind of wait, make my way back down there and kind of mess around. It just, I saw more fish down there. 
um, I have more options. Uh, I had a couple bites of flipping today, today, but not very many. I had way more yesterday in the little bit of time I did it. So, if it gets sunny like this, I don't think this is gonna be very good. That's the update for day two. But that might all change here. And I got quite a few more hours left, so we'll see. So, they're not a lot on rock. I'm not saying you can't catch them on rock, but they're not on rock. That good, I don't think. Now, I haven't fished a ton of it. I mean, as you can see, this whole thing's rock. If they are on it, I mean, there's just miles of it. So, it's very hard to break down. Um, I got bit in some dirt. I, get, I got bit in, in some shallow docks. I'm just flipping a half ounce structure jig. Not the same jig I always do. I cut it down, made it a little bit smaller, just because, I mean, keepers are gonna be keepers. Um, just throwing a regular old rage swimmer swim bait. I've caught one or two a day on it. I'm not throwing it much. I'm kind of throwing it around if it's like they bust or, yeah, you know, I just, I just don't know if that's really the deal. Uh, I've always seen this time of year, they follow that thing more than eat it. Um, so I got that two thing. I'm throwing like a little plopper around, a little buzz bait. Um, to be honest with you, I'm trying to go, there's still a couple of places that I remember when I was here last time that I caught some fish on, some pockets that I haven't been able to find. Um, Cause it looks so much different with it being six, seven, eight foot low. And it was, I'm assuming that's what it is. That's what it looks like. And uh, I mean, you can see like see those vines growing above those rocks like that's i think where the normal level would be i mean that's at least six foot and then it was four foot high last time i was here so we're talking 10 foot so it, it just looks a little bit different i'm just kind of having to go off memory but i i did notice there was a, quite a bit of shad in the last place i was at and i haven't really seen that since um when i was catching them yesterday it was all about perch had nothing to do with shad so i just had to find the perch here i can find perch and it doesn't matter um not saying that's what's holding them i'm just noticing that that's that's part of the equation um so now i'm gonna kind of head back down to like now i don't know if like the sun's kind of come out and i just hadn't hardly had any bites in like an hour hour and a half and i'm wondering if it got tough so i might call home up and say hey man gotten a little tough for you or is it just the area that's 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 what sucks about some of this stuff you know you never know if you're if it's a uh, area or, or the fish quit biting so anyways that's a little more in-depth deal about smith lake uh i, I would have been pleased with both my days if this is what i would have caught today and yesterday you know i'd have been I probably would have got a check, I bet. I guess. I'm, I'm guessing 11 pounds. 12 pounds a day, I think, no problem, gets a check. Heck, it might make the top 10. Um, 11, 11 might? I'm not sure. That's just what they told me. So, anyways, let's go. setting the hook anymore that's a that's a spot right there I mean a good one a big old spot
Y'all know my view on setting the hook. I really don't do it very much. And over the past two days, I really only set the hook once a day. And it just so happened to be both of them were, were big ones. I'm putting this in here because I did notice that sometimes when I set the hook, more were with it. So it was kind of nice to know that. But I shake off so many fish that every once in a while, I did set the hook. If you notice over the past two days, I only set the hook twice, one a day. So uh, that's why I have this in there. The reason I don't have all the sh me shaking them off is, to be honest with you, it's kind of boring. So I didn't have that in there. But I'm just letting y'all know, yeah, most of the time I do, I do shake them off. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, so this is day three, Tuesday. What I figured out so far is there's definitely like this weird little small pocket thing going on. It doesn't even have to be a boat dock. It's, I mean, I say small pocket, like almost cast across. There's fish in there. But here's the issue I'm having. I'm not seeing a lot of giants. There are some on docks. I plan on doing that, but I've seen some. The ones I've seen, and they're all over three, they're like pushing four, are on this main lake main like deeper stuff i just can't get bit like i don't think there's very many of them but i think that's where some of them are and um i just got to figure out how to get them get one to bite because if i can get a limit um maybe i can go do this for the rest of the day i don't know and catch one or two and that that would be enough to like to set me apart but i got to get a bite first doing it so um i just don't know if i've gotten lucky and kind of seen seen one or two here and there um, but I'm going to keep on doing it for the rest of the day and see what happens.